Now let's say I have an unknown signal that I'd like to measure. I'd like to determine its frequency, its peak-to-peak -peak voltage value, and its offset. Now I can do that by eyeballing how many grid lines it's taking up and my uh, voltage per division and time per division scales. However, that's only going to give me a very rough estimate. If I want to have a more precise measurement, I can use the cursors menu. So if I push cursor, you'll see that these lines come up on the screen, which will allow me to put the cursors at exact points on the, any, on the waveform that I'm interested in. So let's go ahead and move the first cursor, which you can change the cursors you're using. Let's pick X1. Now use the cursors knob to move that cursor to the peak of your waveform. So that looks like it's about at the peak. Now let's get the X2 cursor to move to the next peak. The difference between the X1 and X2 cursors will now give me the period of my waveform. Looks pretty good. So it says my period, the change in X is 556 microseconds. Or if I look at the frequency, which is 1 over that change in X, it's about 1.8 kilohertz. Now to get the peak-to-peak -peak voltage, I will just do the same thing, but with the Y cursors. I'll move the Y cursor to the peak, and the other Y cursor to the trough. So my peak-to-peak -peak value, or the change in Y, is 1.78 volts. It's showing negative just because my Y2 is below Y1, but the absolute value between them is still 1.78 volts. So this allows me to get a much better measurement. If I want to get the offset, I can put one of my Y cursors down to ground. So as you can see, Y2 is lined up with ground, and you can see on this menu as well, I can line it exactly up with zero volts. And then, I'll take Y1 and I'll move it to that spot that is the average value of the waveform, which I am kind of eyeballing, but looks to be right about there. And so my delta Y in this case, or my offset, is 1.2324 volts. Now there is yet another way to get these measurements. This is by far the most precise way but you can also have the tool give you these measurements by using the measure menu. So if I hit measure, right now I have values coming up under measurements, but you may not because you first have to get them to appear. So to get measurements to appear, you make sure you're looking up the source you want. We're on source one, which is what we have. Now the type of measurement we want, let's say we want the period. So you push the menu, and then you can push this button to cycle through the different types, or you can move this knob and we'll go ahead and first get the period. So when you've selected the one you want, you just push the button, and there the period will show up as 555 microseconds, which is very similar to what we had measured with the cursors. Now to get the frequency, we'll just push the type again, select frequency, push the button to select, and there it is, 1.8 kilohertz. Let's get the peak-to-peak -peak value. Let's Scroll to the type that's under voltage. So there we have peak to peak. And there we have peak to peak is 1.8 volts. And let's say now we want the offset, which will be the average value. Let's go to type again and select under voltage average. There it is, it's at 1.3 volts. So now we have all the same measurements that we got with our cursors using the measurements menu. The cursors, once again, will give you the most precise and will allow you to specifically pick points on the waveform that you wish to measure. The tool itself, using the measure menu, will give you average values. Sometimes if your waveform is very noisy, it might not give you the most accurate value that you're looking for, and using the cursors to manually select it will give you a better measurement. But it's there for you if you don't need that precision and if you're looking for just a quick measurement.